Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and in this video I'm going to be answering the question, how do you charge this wireless mouse? Yes, this is a question I get asked quite a lot in my mouse review and unboxing videos. You will see a mouse that comes with a cable and a wireless dongle or Bluetooth connectivity, and people have purchased it or are thinking about purchasing it, but want to know how to charge it. This is perplexing to me but it is perhaps not immediately obvious what you do. So for the most part, you'll find that you get a wireless mouse and it has a USB-C or a micro USB cable with it. You have a 2.4 gigahertz dongle and you have a cable to plug it in and charge. Now, a lot of these mice have RGB lighting and other things, so they have a limited amount of battery life. They will vary widely in how much battery life they have. And plugging in is obviously an important part of keeping it going. But the question is actually, one, can you plug it in and carry on playing? And two, how do you plug it in? So you'll find that you have a, a USB-C or micro USB charging cable included in the case. You basically plug that into your PC. So you plug the USB-A end into your PC, and then you plug the micro USB or USB-C end into the mouse. For the most part, you can game with the mouse plugged in. So you can plug the mouse directly into your PC and then game with it. You can also keep the wireless dongle plugged in and plug the cable in separately, but some mice also come with adapter. You can see on the Logitech G502, for example, that that mouse comes with an adapter and USB dongle plugs into that. You can then plug the cable into the adapter, which then means you're extending the range of the dongle. So getting it closest to your mouse means a better signal strength, but it also means that you can easily unplug the Mark USB cable from this dongle extender and then plug it into the mouse when you need to charge it. That means that the dongle is no longer connected to your PC, but the mouse is, so it's getting direct charge and it works really easily. Now there are some rare cases where you need to plug the cable and the dongle in at the same time, so you'll need two USB ports on your PC. It doesn't happen very often, but it is worth bearing in mind. I have seen it on some mice, but for the most part, you can plug your mouse in directly to your PC and charge it and use it at the same time and not have the dongle plugged in. Now there is another option for charging your mouse, and this makes life a lot easier. This is Logitech's power play system, and this obviously works with Logitech mice. It will work, for example, with the Logitech G502 Lightspeed and the Logitech G Pro X Super Light. This is a system which essentially means that you get power through the mouse mat, and you can basically use your mouse constantly and never have to think about plugging it in, which is obviously a benefit. Now in the box itself, you get the mouse mat, you get two different sorts of surface and you get a micro USB cable. That micro USB cable plugs into the mouse mat and then the other end into your PC. And then you simply choose the surface that you want and then you use the included adapter. So you can see on the right hand side here, there's a little puck. That little puck inserts into the relevant compatible mice and then basically converts them from not only a wireless mouse into a wirelessly charging mouse. Yes, the mouse mat's plugged in, but you never need to plug the mouse in in order to charge it. This will, however, obviously add some extra weight to something like the G Pro X Superlight, but it does mean that you then don't need to use the micro USB cable that you'd normally use in order to charge it up. This mouse mat also doubles as the receiver, so you can actually pair the mouse mat and the mouse together so that you don't need to use the standard light speed wireless dongle that usually comes with the super light, which is pretty interesting. Now this system also works on a number of other Logitech mice. Obviously it won't work with all wireless mice. If you have a Logitech mouse and it is wireless, it is worth checking to see whether it works with PowerPlay because this is a simple system that means that you don't need to worry about plugging your mouse in and gives you the freedom of wireless convenience all the time, which is obviously beneficial. There are some systems similar to this. For example, I've seen a Corsair one in the past. You could take your mouse and put it in the corner of the mouse mat when it's not in use and then it would charge but I haven't seen very many where the entire mouse mat will give you power, and this is one that will. I do believe that Razer has had one in the past that I've also seen, but the PowerPlay mat is highly thought of and a wonderful option. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hopefully this has given you some useful insights into how to charge a wireless mouse and all the mice videos I've done. Be sure to check out my comparison videos to see more. Smash that subscribe button if this has helped. Thanks for watching. 
This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.